Okay, looks like never balling again. 4K Trey John Morant, he's back at it again. He just couldn't resist. He couldn't help himself. You know, um, it had been anywhere from like three, four days since the last incident. And he just had to remind the world that, hey, uh, I hope y'all don't think I'm pussy. I hope y'all don't think that I ain't no street dude. So this time, John Morant decides to go on Instagram Live. Now... <laughs> I haven't seen too much good that's come from Instagram Live. I just haven't. Usually, it's been uh, somebody coming to the picture that wasn't supposed to be in there. Um, you know, somebody accidentally gives up their drop, their location, and then something bad ends, ends up happening. It's just never, you know, anything that good really comes from Instagram Live. But this time, you know, John Morant, he's in the club. He's got his homeboys around. Uh, it looks like they're in a strip club of some sort. You can see some girls in the back. They dancing on each other. And um, got young boy playing. Um, bring him out. Um, so he's clearly being influenced and inspired by the music. Um, you know, young boys talking their talk on their record, and he decides that you know what, there's <laughs> about only a thousand people in here on this live, fifteen hundred people on this live. You know what? Let me just flash a gun. And when he flashed that gun, of course, you already know somebody's gonna be screen recording, somebody's gonna be capturing it, and they decide to post it to the internet, and it went viral instantly. Now it looks like um, you know, this whole incident took place at uh. You know, 5, 19 a.m. So we talking, this is way, way, way into the late hours in the morning. I'm sure John Morant's had a couple uh, too many to drink. Uh, he may have smoked something. Who knows, man? Um, he may have took something and ingested something. Like, we just don't know. But it's clear as day. Um, he's not in uh, his right state of mind. He's clearly in an inebriated state. And that's why he's um, doing something so silly like this. It just makes absolutely no sense why, you know, you talk talking about a dude that's he generating over two hundred million dollars. He's on a two hundred million dollar contract, and it seems like he wants to go back to the hood, to a place where he's not from. It's just so sad because it just looks like this kid's getting opportunity after opportunity after opportunity, and he just finds a way to squander it and really just try. He's like looking for a way to throw it all away. You know, I, I'm totally disappointed uh, in his friends around him. They're clearly yes men, clearly guys that uh, aren't really looking out for his best interest. Um, when it comes to his father, look, man, T. Morant, you got to step up and be a dad. You can't be your son's friend. You got to be a father. It's clear as day. This is a guy that's trying to um, relive his second childhood through his um, son with the success that his son has because, you know, he looks like he's just his boy. Like, he looks like he's part of the entourage. It don't look like he's the parental uh, figure, you know, showing guidance, showing him right from wrong. It, it just looks like that's not really there um, in John Morant's life. It's just... It's just really sad, just really disappointing to see a guy so talented, the stuff that he can do in the air, and he's just uh, on his way to throwing it all away. So this is something I feel like um, Adam Silver needs to step in. H had this been someone like David Stern, tsh, David Stern would have nipped this in the bud a long time ago. He would have saw this and said, uh-uh, what you think this is? Uh-uh, you know what, from now on, we want you to be dressing to the games in suits and ties. No more of these, you know, accessories, no more of these chains, these jewelries, and none of this grill stuff. Like, you don't need to be showing no diamonds in your teeth. Like, uh-uh. We come here, we come here to do a job, we play basketball, and we entertain fans, and then we go home. All this, you know, I want to be a gangster part-time, I want to be a street thug, and then I want to hoop, uh-uh. David Stern wasn't going for none of that. Now, it looks like the league... You know, they stepped in and they, um, uh, looks like they're going to be suspending him for uh, two games. Uh, looks like uh, the, the league and uh, the Memphis Grizzlies decide to come uh, to an agreement on what they want to do. But Adam Silver got to sit down with this kid. He got to, he's got to, he's got to take a trip out to Memphis and have a one on one conversation with him. Let him know that it, it, it is not a right to play in the NBA, it is a privilege. You are one of the uh, lucky and fortunate and blessed individuals to be here. And if you want to, you know, you want to be a gangster, you want to be a street dude, you want to be a hardcore nigga, all right, man, go ahead, do that. Do that outside of the league. Do that when you're not playing. But while you're still playing and while you're an active player, man, you're not going to represent the league like this. Hell no, hell no. They are not going for none of that. And, and you talking about you endorsed by a, a brand as big as Nike. Yo, Nike gave you your own signature shoe. Like, you know how many people in the league got a signature shoe with Nike? I mean, we're talking about what? Maybe four, maybe five people? The only people I can think of is Kyrie just lost his. And Paul George got one. LeBron got one. KD got one. And you, the only person else that I think, but he's no longer here, is Kobe. So we're talking about four, maybe five people that got a signature shoe. Nike thought that you were the right guy to go with. And now you are, you're making them look stupid. You're making them look embarrassed. They, the executives are looking around, scratching their head like, oh my God, bro. 
What have we done? Why did we give this guy this boatload of money? Why did we give this guy a shoe deal? Like, ugh, tsh, what were we thinking? Man, we should have just held out. We should have just held out and seen what else we could find on the market. See, wait for another superstar to really emerge because, man, you're making a lot of people look bad. You're making a lot of uh, individuals look really foolish with your, uh, your actions and your decisions. Now, look at your teammates. They're going to have to answer a bunch of questions about your behavior off the court. You think they really want to be doing all that? You think they really want to be answering questions to the media about, oh, what do you think about Ja and his antics on Instagram? And what do you think about Ja and what he does off the court? Like stuff like that, man. They don't want to be answering questions like that. They try to focus on, on, on trying to win games and trying to win a championship. And here you are. It just seems like week after week, you find a way to bring some sort of distractions. Even young boy, he don't even act like that no more. Like you, you, you got to go uh, four or five years uh, to, to find clips of young boy really acting up and you know sporadic on Instagram live like that doing like he, he's moved on from this like you can see he's he's even uh, turned the leaf and how he wants to uh, really project and, and the image he really wants out there man if if John Morant since he, he seems like he's a young boy fan he really loves young boy he should sit down and, and, and listen to NBA young boys billboard interview because that maybe that might help him maybe that might you know change his mindset uh, uh, of how he really want to move because it's clear as day the teammates they're not getting through to him the parents they ain't getting through to him his yes men they're not getting through to him so the only people that seem to have a chance that has like a, a, a profound impact on this man's uh, mental health and this man's life seems to be the artist these rappers you know he's clearly influenced by Moneybag Yo Poo Shiesty uh, NBA young boy Lil Dirk Lil Baby so if these rappers can get in contact with him and let him know that hey bro even we think what you're doing is it's a little out of pocket. Like, we can do this and we can get away with it because of our craft and what we do. But you, bruh, we don't got your type of money. Trust me, if we had your type of money, we would not be doing what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do because we have to put out an image so that our fans can buy in and believe everything that we actually saying on these mics. I don't know, Ja. I don't know, Ja. You got to get it together, bro. You got to get it together, man. This world and this league is, is giving you chance after chance after chance. They're showing you sign after sign after sign. Like, before you know it, man, you can find yourself out this league. You can find yourself behind the wall. You can find yourself doing time that you uh, should never be uh, really doing. So, Ja, man, I, ho I, I, ho I, hope you really, I hope you really learn your lesson this time. I really hope you do. I don't know if that's gonna really going to be the case because, you know, it seems like you're really hard-headed. It seems like you're a guy that's accumulated a lot of money, so it's really hard to tell somebody what to do once they've made so much money. I mean, it's just hard. Like, like who do, why should I listen to you? You don't got as much money as I do. So uh, I think what I'm doing, it seems to be working real uh, right for me. You're 23 years old. I, mean, I, I'm, 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 I got a $200 million deal. Like... I ain't gonna listen to nobody so i hope y'all figures it out i hope he gets it together you know gilbert arenas uh, jarvis crittenton um alan iverson maybe he needs to talk to some former players and let him know that hey bro bro chill out chill out you ain't gotta project that image you don't gotta do all that and you come from a great place you come from a great neighborhood like you wasn't raised like that you ain't cut like that like bro what you doing come on jaw come on jaw get it together man get it together that's really my take on this whole conversation, man. Like if you want to. Comment if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. If not, man, life goes on.